Hello, family, and welcome, welcome, welcome to Word of Wisdom with D, where we pray that you obtain wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in God as well as in His Word. And I today I want to let you know God wants to do a new thing within you. God wants you to have that peace, that joy, that love, that patience, that long suffering, that um perseverance that hum, um, humbleness he wants us to have it all he wants us to have that newness and once again how can we have newness if we still carrying old stuff if we still carrying old baggage and stuff and everything and you know it brings he brought me to the scripture Matthew 17 Sorry, Matthews 9 and 17, the New King James Version, where it says, Nor do they put new wine into old wine skin, or else the wine skin break. The wine is spilled and the wine skins are ruined. But they put new wine into new wine skin and both are preserved. So God is letting us know on today that he wants us to get rid of the old wine skin, okay? Get rid of the old, put the old back in the past and stuff. And he wants to put in new wine for within us. He wants to refill us. He wants to fill us up with newness, with the newness. And how can he fill us up with newness if we continue to hold on to what's old and stuff. And you know, I think about this. Um, I was taught, told this a long time ago. If you have your hands like this in a fist, you cannot receive nothing. You're holding on to what is old. But once you open up and release whatever is in that hand of yours, God is able to put put back more put back more than what you had in your hand before he's able to give you something new so why don't we just release the old and let him pour back into us something new and stuff and when we're releasing the old that means we have to release old traditions we have to release old habits we have to release old thinking we have to release you know, old behaviors. We have to release it all for him to put something new into us. So allow us to release the old on today so that God can pour something new into us. And I always say, if you don't know how to release it, if you don't know when to release it, if you don't know what God is doing new for you, go to God and ask him. Ask him to show you how to release the old things so that you can receive the new. Ask him to show you how to receive the new because sometimes we have problems with receiving. We don't like to receive things when, when you know, God is trying to bless us and, and, and have us to receive stuff. But allow God to begin to work in your heart and work in your mind so that he can start showing you how you can release the old and you can obtain the new receive the new say of 43 18 and 19 where it says do not remember the former things so right here he's letting us know let it go let it go let it go let go of the old do not remember it do not go back and pick it up do not go you know let it go <laughs> let it go and it says nor consider the things of the old like I said, so don't even think about it. Even, and, and, and I'm not, you know, and let me go back. Because sometimes when you think about stuff, begin to change your mindset. Begin to change your mindset when you start thinking of things of the old, when you start thinking of the past, when you start thinking of the past hurts, when you start thinking of the past heartbreaks, when you start thinking of the past sadness, when you start thinking of the past of anything. Just say, God, this isn't you. Or begin to thank God. God, I thank you for bringing me through that past. And bringing me into the new. Just try to get your mind to, to, to turn. To turn from that thinking. Of what was old and stuff. 
Because once again, he tells us, do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of the old. That's what he's telling us. And then it goes on to say, behold, I will do a new thing. So he's letting us know he's going to do a new thing. Once we let go, let go, let go of the old, let it go. Let it go. And even when I think about it, when you're walking into something new, don't think about your past failures. Don't think, like I said, don't think about your past hurts. Don't think about, oh, I tried this before and it, it didn't go the way that I thought. No, just say, God, I'm walking into the new. I'm walking into to what you have for me. I'm walking into it with my eyes wide open, with my ears attuned to what you have to say to me so that you could guide me and direct me in the way that I shall go. Because once again, allow God to bring you into the new things and stuff. And, and like I said, and renew your mind, renew your mind, renew your mind when you're going forward in the new things. Because when you're going forward, you have to look forward. You can't look back. You have to look forward. And that's what God is letting us know. When we're walking into something new, when we're going into the next day, when we're going into the next minute, when we're going into the next second, that other second, that other minute, that uh, yesterday is the old. So he's telling us, let's go into the new with a, with a renewed mind, with a clean heart. Saying, God, this is the day that you have made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Despite what happened on yesterday. Despite what happened just a minute ago. I'm not going to allow it to, to get me out of my place. I'm not going to allow it to ruin my newness. To, re to allow it to ruin what you have new for me. I'm going to keep going forward. And that's what God wants. Us to continue to go forward and it said goes on to say now it's well now it shall spring forth shall you not know it and I will even make a road in the wilderness and a river in the desert so he's letting you know right here that he's making a pathway for you even when you look like you're going through a desert season a dry season He's letting you know that he's going to make a road for you, a path, and he's going to have a river for you so that you will not go into this newness, hunger, and thirsting after the things, after other things, but you will go hunger and thirsting after him because he is the one that's providing you with the newness. He is the one that's providing you to walk in it walk in his newness walk in his newness that's what he's telling us to walk in his newness so once again how can you walk in his newness first and foremost get rid of the old get rid of the old stop thinking on it don't consider it don't ponder on it don't wallow in it get rid of it and if you don't know how to release the old, once again, go to God. Go to God and ask him to help you. Help you to release whatever is hindering you. Whatever is keeping you bound up in that old state of mind. In that old state of being. Ask him. And he will show you how to release it. And I could tell you one thing, how you can release it, is to keep your mind stayed on Him. To keep your, and it is a scripture that lets us know that we should always be thinking on things that are just, lovely, pure, and so forth. And that's what we should do, to keep our minds off of the old, so that we can walk into our new. Walk into our new that God has for us. So I'm going to close us out in prayer. Heavenly Father, I just thank you on today. I thank you, Lord God. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for who you are. 
for you are God of our gods. You are Lord of our Lord, kings of kings. You are the awesomeness of us, Lord God, and we thank you. Lord God, we thank you for the newness that you're beginning to bring us forth into, Lord God. And Lord God, I thank you for helping us to release the old, Lord God, to allow the old to stay in the past, Lord God. And when it does try to come back up, Lord God, that we'll know how to defeat the thoughts of the old, Lord God, that we'll know how to cast it down, cast down those imaginations of the old Lord God, cast them down into the sea of forgetfulness, Lord God, so that we can continue to walk forth in our newness, Lord God. So I thank you on today, Lord God, for giving us this fresh reminder that you have something new for us, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, and that we shall allow to release the old Lord God that we shall release the old Lord God. I thank you, I love you, and I praise your holy name, Lord God, once again, for allowing us to walk in our newness in this time and in this season. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. I just want to say and pray and wish that y'all have a good day, a blessed week, as well as the blessed month. Y'all be blessed. And once again, allow the old to stay in the past and walk forth in your newness. Love y'all and be blessed.